Welcome back guys, welcome back to a brand new day, Road to TC World 2018, if you're watching live with me on Twitch, thanks so much for hanging out, appreciate it, and if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like, it really helps out the channel and the video itself. So, thank you guys so much for being here, we are now moving on to Zwarg uh, Greninja, finally, I think the only viable version of Greninja, um, other than maybe a 444 Greninja with a 2 2 artillery and then nothing else however um Rhea, <laughs> thank you so much thank you so much for gifting that sub to Jin. very kind of you who's watching he's staying up at 3 a.m to watch he has school tomorrow and he's from singapore so thank you so so much that's very kind of you and i'm sure he'll be very thankful as well um <laughs> yeah very dedicated indeed um so we're featuring Greninja GX, we featured it um, three times today, 230 HP when you evolve from Frogadier, 30 damage to, or three damage counters rather, to something, um, Haze Slash 110, and you shuffle Greninja back, and then Shadow Hunter lets you hunt for something um, on the bench, wherever it is. Um, it's okay, Jeremy, <laughs> thank you so much. Uh, for tuning in, it's okay though. It happens. I was, I, I generally, I'm, a, I was happy it happened because then I was over with the deck. Um, we have the one Greninja with Shadow Stitching to hopefully uh, help us in dealing with Malamar decks and also potential Zorak Mirrors. Um, Shadow Stitching a great attack which allows us to limit our opponent's abilities during their turn and Moonlight Slash dealing 60 damage, returning the Water Energy to our hand. Um, Frogadier, when you evolve from Froki, you place two damage counters. So between Frogadiers and Granite GXs, we can place up to five. Um, uh, Manchas, what is the logo and missing next to my name? What do you mean? What do you mean? Which logo is missing? You have the emote? I mean, not the, the, you have the cheer badge and you have the subscriber badge. Um, so yeah, we have Greninja paired up with Zork GX, 210 HP, ability trade, discard a card, draw two, um, Righteous Beating dealing 20 times every Pokemon in play you have, 150 damage with a choice band, 120 without it, and um, <laughs> DZ bugs on an eight win streak, by the way, very nice, very, very nice. Um, I'm sure Shockle is responsible for that, um, for at least five of those games. <laughs> um, then we have Mew and Mewtwo uh, to help deal with Puzzle. We have double Lele and four Bridget instead of three and three because we really don't want to have uh, Lele's on the bench. We'd rather just save that space for Zeruas and Froki. So maximizing the natural chances of finding uh, the raw Bridget is um, really good here. Um, Double Cynthia, Triple Guzma, one Mallow, Triple N, and the Cerola, four supporters, four Ultra Ball, and four Puzzle of Time as is standard. Um, for um, for Zorak decks, Triple Field Lower to make sure Carbo Toxin is not an issue, Triple Timer Ball to make sure that we compensate for the double tails, <laughs> um, and we search for our Frogadiers and Greninjas into the hand. Triple Choice Band, a single Floatstone, and then four DCs and two Water Energy. So that's the deck we're going to be trying out. It's an updated from the list that I showed on day one of Forbidden Light. So let's see if we can get some actual good games going. Um, fourth Bridget, because um, you want Bridget on turn one, and you want to do it without Lele, hopefully. So that's why I have for Bridget to maximize the chances of starting with the Bridget, just raw Bridget. Um, instead of having to Lele for it. That way the Lele space on the bench can actually be a Froki or something like that. Um, and yeah, Manchas, uh, the thing, the badge you're missing is uh, the Moderator badge. That's the badge you are missing. However, since you're very active and you're always here, now you have the badge. So congratulations. <laughs> And <laughs> don't don't trust her. Thank you for the follow. Um, okay, so see there we have the Bridget. So immediately paying off, I would say. Uh, we're gonna start Terua. We're gonna Froggy on the bench. We don't know what we're up against. I didn't put attention to the brief screen. Um, how are the chances to draw Bridget turn one if you got four in the deck? Um, 
I don't know the exact number. Um, however, um, I generally don't know the exact number. It's just, ooh, we're up against Buzzwell. I don't have the exact number. It just seems like um, by having four, I have maximum chances, right? I have maximum, maximum chances. Eh, Max Rock, el primer torneo con Forbidden Light siendo legales este sábado. No, we lose the Rob Bridges. <laughs> no. Um, justo ya este sábado tengo el primer torneo con Forbidden Light siendo legal. Oh, why do we draw these bad hands? Uh, okay. Um, okay, so we're. I'm not even gonna bridge it here. I'm gonna Brooklyn Kill for this, grab the Zerua, and Ultra Ball for. Um, Lele for Cynthia. Okay, at least we top deck the Ultra Ball. <laughs> and Captain Hammer, yeah, you can see the the baby puzzle, <laughs> the baby puzzle emote right there. You're wary of playing anything with Zark. Um, yeah. Um, like that's why. You, oh no, I clicked Bridget. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> I guess I'll use it, but that was very silly. Um, that was a misclick. I was so frustrated at not getting Bridget that I just clicked Bridget. <laughs> Oops. Um, I only priced one Froki because I'm running three. <laughs> Matcha, thanks so much for the bits. It's very kind of you. I hope you'll be a responsible moderator. Yeah, I have it, exactly. <laughs> not completely out of habit. Um, I mean, <laughs> we got the mute, I guess, and we have one Zorg. Um... Chris, why was Crobat so good and Greninja is not? Because Crobat existed in a meta game where Night March was the best deck and Night March's attackers were a 30 HP Joltek and a 60 HP Pump Kabu. Um, right now, everything has 190 HP or more. So, so that's the biggest issue. Okay, my opponent very kindly fixes my big mistake. Um, I might even bridge it for a Zorua. I might even bridge it for a Zerua. Um, so very kind of my opponent. The first turn was not very kind, the second one was. Um, so yeah, that's the reason. That's definitely the reason. Oh, those <laughs> those Tapufini emotes are pretty cool, UCFN. Are those from uh, Yoshi's stream? Okay. So... Obviously the the Lycan Rock is very scary. Um, my opponent chose to not do baby puzzle and chooses to attach to the other puzzle, surprisingly. I don't see why you wouldn't attach to this um, to this rock rough. Um, now puzzle has a big chance to just two shot the Mewtwo, especially without 30 damage. Um, when is level ball gonna be reprinted? I have no idea. I wish I knew, but I have no idea. Um, I definitely feel like I need another Zorua. I definitely feel like I need another Zorua here. Um, because I need Zoraks to actually get the Greninjas. But see, this is the beauty of it. Greninja can attack, I mean, Zora can attack, but it's also consistent drawing, consistent. And welcome, Seth. Uh, the Lele or the Acerola? Like an Acerola, the Mewtwo, that would be pretty nice. Um... He's dealing 70, yeah. Doesn't seem like he'll be able to knock out the Mewtwo. And Rahul, thank you so much for the host. That's very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Thank you so, so much. Um, okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place the 20 here, because then I'm gonna hit for 140, and then one Greninja GX will be enough um, to knock out the Buzzle. That's the eighth Tails in a row. That's the eight tails in a row. That is very sad. Eight tails in a row. Oh well. So let's just psychic. <laughs> eight tails in a row. What is that? Um, like counting from all of the games. Um, do I have any experience with Zora Greninja against Ultra Malamar Necrozma? Um, not yet. I don't think I faced that matchup just yet. Uh, the first day that I um, 
the first day that I featured um, the deck, so I would still assume or feel that it's favored for Ultra Necrozma, just slightly. Because this deck will probably be a little bit more clunky than theirs. Um, what do I think about Glacian Greninja GX? We actually use that type moon and I don't like it at all. I definitely do not like it whatsoever. Um, how important was the free retreat and being worth a single price in reference to Crobat? It was, I mean, it was not very important. Uh, the psychic typing was okay uh, because of Dimension Valley. Um, right now, I don't feel like that would be making a big difference here, honestly. Um, okay. So now, let's trade away this guy and hope we can get something going here. <laughs> um, yeah. What am I going to scoop? <laughs> Discarding Acerola is better. I mean, yeah, maybe. Maybe I should have kept the Lele. That's true. That's true. Hello, Waddling Corgi. Thanks so much for being here. And yeah, guys, um, I don't know. Glacian Green Jigs, we used it earlier. It's just. It's too. Glacian doesn't do enough damage. It's a stage 1 and a stage 2 that's super clunky. Um, <laughs> wow, my opponent has man. Oh no, he has, he has elixirs and B strings. <sighs> I don't understand why people play both. Okay, my opponent just really doesn't want to deal with Mewtwo at all. And yes, I did update my CP indeed. <laughs> I did update my CP indeed. Yeah, we've totally lost this game. 100% we have lost this game. Greninja GX sucks, guys. <laughs> Greninja GX sucks big time. Um, okay, I mean, I can double eliminate these two guys. I actually can double eliminate... I need a fro a frogadier and a Greninja GX. That's what I need here. So let's just go for that. If I had flipped one head. Oh my other Lele. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna cry guys. I discarded my Lele. Okay, discarding my Lele discarding the Lele is my mistake. Discarding the Lele is definitely my mistake. So let's knock out this puzzle. We'll take two prizes. Guzma Ultra Ball. Okay. Oof. <laughs> Oof. Very close. What about Lapras Greninja? <laughs> no. Hello, Sir Bandage. Thank you so much for being here. Um, okay. I'm going to trade first. The Guzma? Uh, or the Ultra Ball? No, no, I can't trade the Ultra Ball. Pablo, what are you saying? Do not trade the Ultra Ball. Um, okay, I'm gonna keep the puzzle. I'm gonna take four prizes this turn without even attacking yet. Which is actually really cute. And okay, can we actually make a comeback here? So the damage placement actually mattering a lot. Ooh, and we get double puzzle. We get double puzzle. And now my opponent doesn't have P-string. <laughs> Now my opponent does not have P-String. And we have not played a supporter, right? No, we have not played a supporter. We have actually not played a supporter here. This is actually pretty sick. Um, this guy and what else? Lele for N and probably want the Guzma here. To keep it alive in the deck? Wow, we might actually have a chance. We might actually... Okay, maybe Greninja doesn't suck. Maybe. Very big maybe. Very big maybe. <laughs> Is Greninja break still relevant in Expanded? Yeah, I think so. I think it has potentially Expanded. 
Okay. So we, we still need a big turn next turn. Um, but we definitely got rid of so many resources that we have a genuine chance to win the game here. Have a genuine, genuine chance to win the game. Because now that Tabula LA, all we need is a TCE, and that Tabula LA is gone. That Tabula LA is absolutely gone. Which tool does Greninja gain in expanded? Uh, Dive Ball. Dive Ball is the reason why Greninja is slightly better in expanded. Um. Ah, Isarola would have been better. You're right, C Tab. Well, is there all I'm, I don't know. Like, if my opponent has Beast Energy, Diancy, Choice Band, Red Rock, he could one shot Zorg. Um, he will be getting rid of the Mewtwo here. Yeah, maybe. Then I would just be one either Frogadier or Greninja GX away from knocking out the top of Lele. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, Beast is not out. So, I mean, there was that chance. We do see the Choice Band, we do see the Beast. Um, it was still a bit scary. A bit. Um, okay, so what do we do here? We're gonna promote this guy. I feel like the 30 should have gone here. Um, ooh, that doesn't help us. The Mallow does not help us here. So do I just end? Do I just end here? Salud. Or do I just try to get the DC? I'm not gonna get it. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna get it. How many Guzmas? Only one Guzma. Um. My opponent is dealing 30, 60, 70. So even if I evolve, I can't protect this guy. Can I? Trade into double puzzle. I don't think that works. Get the, try for the TC. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the TC. I feel like I'm gonna lose to a Guzma. Yeah. Yeah, let's just end then. Okay, we got this guy. Which maybe helps a little bit, probably not. Um, so the 20 here puts him at 220, that doesn't matter. So I'll just put it here. Could I have... No, I couldn't have Mallowed for Mew. No. There's no... I mean, he must play four Kuzmas, right? Unless he dropped Kuzma in order to... Um, unless he dropped Kuzma... Wow, he has Field Blower? What? So does he just not play four P-String? He's gonna have the Kuzma. There's no way he whiffs the Guzma, unless he took out Guzma to actually fit in the the elixirs and B strings and everything. Okay, so we get another chance. We get another chance. Ooh. Okay, so now we need the Guzma. <laughs> now we need the Guzma. No. That's it, right? Uh, yeah, the 30 KOs this. He has another energy. He can knuckle impact for 190, 200. Ugh. Very sad. So close. So close. Oh well. We tried. I and mean, after the start we had, the fact that we were able to pull it to that point was surprising. Uh, Mewtwo was definitely the MVP. Oh well, couldn't get the right combination of cards uh, to win. I had to throw away the floatstone there. Um, it happens. I will go back to Greninja GX Sox, guys. 
<laughs> I will go back to that. Okay. So opponent's turn. Really bad hand. Glad we mulligan. We're looking for the raw Bridget here. <laughs> and Frog's luck. I mean, I assume if the channel keeps growing, there will eventually be a Greninja MLG. Because I did win a national championship with Greninja. Type Moon, thank you so much. Very kind of you. Very kind of you for the 100 bits. Thank you so, so much. That's very kind of you guys. Very kind of you, Type Moon. I mean. <laughs> and yeah, visualize. As you can see, we have the baby puzzle emotes now. And we're not gonna have even like access to Bridget. Not even the Royal Bridget, just no access to Bridget. No Lele, no Twelve, no Bridget. Do I think six Forbidden Light Packs for a Greninja GX is a good trade? I honestly don't know. I wouldn't give one pack for Greninja GX. Okay, and here's a matchup that someone was asking about. Um, Ultra Malamar. I mean, Ultra Necrozma Malamar. So... Against this deck, hopefully it will be a good match. Um, how do you think Greninja Zoar compares to Beastbuck, Boss Rocks, Necrozma Malamar? I don't think it's good. It's still a stage two with a stage one. It's still Zoar Greninja is the best partnership, but it's still not as good as just. A basic Pokemon just dealing all the damage. Yeah. It's never gonna be as good as that. That's the issue. Uh, when is the last time you played your gre winning Greninja list? Um, at Worlds that year. That was the last time I played it. Um, Ctab, thank you so much for choosing to subscribe with your Twitch Prime. Thank you so, so much. That's very kind of you. Thank you so, so much. Um, we're 10 subscribers away guys 10 subscribers away from a new emote uh, I mean, I guess I'll attach to the Froakie and Choice went the Froakie. Maybe I can pressure. I hate giving my opponent extra card so but I there was nothing I could do about that and Get an awful hand as a follow-up as well Awful awful hand. I think I just passed here. Nothing I can do um. <laughs> You're addicted to stress for sure. <laughs> yeah, for Bridget, exactly, right? For Bridget, just putting in the work. Okay, I mean, my opponent has the Ultra. The Ultra Malamar sleeves. Not the Ultra Malamar, the Ultra Necrozma sleeves. But he has yet to bench an Ultra Necrozma. There's a dull Malamar, so the perfect setup for my opponent. However, if he chooses to attack this, I'm just uh, an easy Zork away from knocking him out, which I am okay with. Uh, Jin, you have Twitch Affiliate, but never had a sub. I'm sorry. What do you stream? PTCGO as well? Um, is Friday still on with Sam? I mean, Sam will be here. I don't know. I don't think he'll join for the whole stream, but Sam will be here at my house. Um, whilst I'm streaming, so I'm sure he'll pop up and be silly as he usually is um, Okay, so now I I'm just missing the bench Pokemon to take a knockout Here. Oh, okay. That's a great top deck. Now the deck says okay. I apologize for um, For all the bad draws here's um, Here's a um, Here's a Lele to make up for it so we'll get that infamous Bridget. We shall get that infamous Bridget. The weakness is gonna hurt my opponent quite a bit. Um, we're gonna get Dolzer and the Froki, which is really nice. And we can also evolve into this to pressure this. And the Muse is essentially a free prize card. So hopefully, off of these two prize cards, we get something going. Um, my opponent, off of that huge hand, will likely be able to recover, and we won't. <laughs> we have a terrible hand. Um, I don't know why he would promote Dunwings instead of Mew. Maybe he's planning on dropping the... No. Wait, what? 
Why would you do that? I do not understand why you would promote Dawnwings here. But I mean, saying this means uh, Zoark is safe, which I am very happy to, very happy about. <laughs> Ultra Malamar sounds like the stuff of nightmares. Yep, I agree. Um, do I think Renew GX will get better after rotation? Maybe. Maybe. Um, the format will be quite a bit slower, so maybe. Um, it's just sad that we won't have Bridget. Um, hola, Doc. When it will be Mexico tournament? This weekend we have a special event uh, in Mexico City, so I'll be going to that. Um, someone said to video log that. That could be a cool idea. Like, I, I recorded videos from Brazil. I just... I didn't think they were good enough to, to make a video out of. I have some content from Brazil. Um... I mean, I could try making a video log on the special event, but I don't want to commit because it's just not my specialty. Um, okay, so my opponent will choose to use the GX attack, however, he'll be uh, 20 damage short. Um, the Mute does get protection, but it doesn't even get protection from... Um, hmm. This Greninja is actually pretty enticing here. Um, I might end up attacking with this. Ooh, unless I flip heads, then I'm just gonna take the knockout. Oh, we got one heads, nice. So we're gonna take the prize on the Mew. And then the 20 damage will go towards the Inkay or the Malamar. A Malamar. That 20 damage is actually pretty useless. Um, so 30 damage here, that's fine. Make a Lolan Duck Trio deck. <laughs> a Lolan Duck Trio is also really bad. Uh, strong Energy does not stay in the format, as far as I can recall. No, it definitely doesn't. Um, no Max Elixir either. Um, it, I think Buzzle is still going to be super, super strong. Um, I'm not playing Elixir, exactly. I'm already not playing any Elixir, so... I don't think it changes that much. Um, for Buzzle, it takes away the strong option, yes. So you only have Beast Energy and Diancy to increase your damage output, but that's probably still fine. You still have Lycan Rock. Um, yeah, I think Max Elixir and Buzzle is very unnecessary at this point in time. It was tempting to, to Shadow Stitch the previous turn. It was honestly quite tempting to Shadow Stitch the previous turn. Um, now our hand is looking pretty sad because we don't have the multiple uh, Zoarks rather. So maybe this was overdoing it a little bit. Cap Tamer, thank you so much for the host. Very kind of you. Um, North, not worth playing single puzzle there. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> that's true. Maybe worth playing single puzzle. Yes. Um, have I tried a build without puzzles? No, I feel like puzzles are just too good not to use. Okay, so if we had played the puzzle, it wouldn't have been useful anyway. Because we got end down to two. However, <laughs> we got the perfect two cards to just um, haste slash. We won't be putting Greninja back into a deck. Um, I mean, hopefully we'll top deck something. And okay. N is decent. I like N. Let's see what we can get. Uh, Zorg for next turn. So what do I do here? Do I GX this guy? I feel like I GX this guy. Uh, because that's the only thing that can one-shot my Greninja. It can't even one-shot here. He would need the Beast Energy, which is gone. So I don't need to do that, actually. Okay, I'm totally going to play this. Oh, no, that was a mistake. That was silly. <laughs> that was silly. Um, and I could go after this. I think I'm just gonna haste slash the active though, and I'm not gonna put Greninja back. I should not have played that um, choice band though, because now I don't have enough cards to control next turn. Um, okay, so he cannot knock out my Greninja this turn. The maximum he can do is 210 damage. So I can just hunt this guy wherever it goes. Unless I'm, unless he's playing Kukui, <laughs> unless he's playing Kukui, uh, does Plus Guard run Octillery? No. Oh, oh. <laughs> I was afraid of the GX attack for a little bit there. 
I was afraid he could GX for game, but no, he only has two targets. Okay, so Greninja gets a, gets a victory, finally. After we won against Ultra Malamar Necrozma with Glacian Greninja, and then we had six straight losses until we finally got a win here. Um, I don't think Bus Garb runs Octillery because Garb shuts off Octillery, so I don't think he would play it. Um, I don't think going after the Malamar was the right call. Um, I feel like it was better to, um, it was better to make, to put a big target on that Pokemon. Um, the only way he could have prevented that from getting KO'd would have been something like a Parallel City, um, and a Cirola, which those decks usually don't play. Um, something like that and yeah that was very surprising for sure i don't think he misplayed by benching two dawn wings um he needed those to attack and he needed to copy the attack i think he was a little bit over eager uh to knock out the froki with my with the dawn wings i do think that was a small mistake um and yeah okay so yeah oyer uh the command deck doesn't work in the channel right now um, because I use different decks throughout the stream, I think it would be a little bit hard to to coordinate that. Um, but I can always just show the list after this game. And now we're up against Speak Up Bubu. Press there and then pass. Okay, so this is where the Greninja damage actually makes a lot of sense. It lets you knock out Pika Bolt. It lets you knock out like one shot um, Tabu Bulu, so that's really good. Um, yeah, Greninja decks are definitely missing something. And yeah, Jin, <laughs> thank you so much for staying up. I hope it doesn't affect you in school too much, though. Um, okay, so we're gonna Zoark here, and then I feel like I just end. They, these guys are always holding rare candy pickles on turn one. Always, every time, <laughs> every time. It's like guaranteed. Oh, you're playing Bulu online? They will have turn to Pika Bolt. Every time. Okay, so let's trade the Mew. And then let's trade Seize the Field Blower. Nah, the Floatstone. The Floatstone. What's the next emoticon? I actually don't know. That's a good question. Um, that is actually a very good question. I actually don't know what the next emoji will be. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing something like themed with uh, my previous tournament results. So something like, um, yeah, double forget your this and then Greninja GX this one. Something with like uh, Nidoqueen, like a Nidoqueen emoji, a Blaziken emoji, a Greninja emoji. Um, a Gardevoir emoji, all of those. Or emote rather, not emoji, emote. Uh, was it not worth Ultra Link for a second Zorak before the end? Maybe, it's just the cards that I had in the hand, like the puzzle, I wanted to keep alive in the deck still. Um, it was puzzle and something else, I don't remember what the other card was. And there's a Skyla for the rare candy. There's a Skyla for the rare candy. Uh, Chermon, yeah, Chermon. I'll have to de uh, design a Chermon as well. <laughs> um, and yeah, guys, what commands would you like to see on the channel? That's a good question. Um, what commands would you like to see on the channel um, for future for future streams? Okay, if my opponent uses a GX attack and heals himself, he doesn't knock me out, and then I still knock him out afterwards. If he has... Wow. Does he have the grass? No, he doesn't have the grass. Good. Oh my gosh, this is the grass, isn't it? This is the grass energy. My opponent had the perfect six cards in his hand, right? That's gonna be the grass, isn't it? 100% <laughs> that's the grass. 100% that's the grass energy. Maybe not. He's already played Skyla. Oh, okay, that's not the... <sighs> Yikes. <laughs> that was pretty scary. Okay, now we want a Froget here. That's not a Froget here. We want a Froget here because then we can do 20 here. 
and then Greninja GX that guy. Ooh, that's really cool. So let's knock out this guy. Maybe we can get an Ultra Ball or a Timer Ball off of this. No, that's fine. Um, I'll go ahead and do this. I'll go ahead and do this just to thin, essentially. And then I still have one trait left, so I'm gonna Cynthia first. And then I need a, an Ultra Ball or a Timer Ball head flip. So let's go, just one heads. Yes, one heads, that's all we need. So we eliminate double pulls, and my opponent has one card in hand. Yeah, when this deck flows, it's really nice. The Greninja makes Bulu um, a really good matchup for Zork, I guess. Um, <laughs> we need a command that tells the tale of the great and powerful seeking. <laughs> That's true. Um, I have made changes to the list. Um, the original list that I used two weeks ago had a 4-4. Four, four, 3-1 uh, Grenier GX, now we're using a 3-3-3-1. Three, 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 um, the more I play the deck, the less I like the Shadow Stitching, like it's very hard to find the spot to use it. Um, yes, of course I can show the list after this game, uh, just make sure you remind me. Um, and Jin. Uh, yeah, I mean during the intermission I just open up the other list. I make some changes if I think it's important Things like that um, Okay, so field lore removes two choice bands. I um, That's why I didn't play the other one from the Cynthia or maybe I did uh, No, I kept one choice band. I think I think or maybe I only have two now. I'm I'm not sure um there's the Pulu. Does he have choice? Well, he doesn't need choice band, I guess. He doesn't need choice band, but we are just um, one choice band and TC away. So essentially, one puzzle away from winning the game here. Or yeah, one one choice band away, one puzzle piece away. We're gonna have double trades. We have 20 con 21 cards left. Uh, no puzzles played yet. Um, I haven't made a Lowland Nine Tails Greninja, no, but I don't think I'm gonna make it. It's just gonna be more frustrating games, like with Gold Discipline and Glacian. Um, a command with lists used in the stream. Can you imagine? Like, I use three or four different decks every time. 50-50 uh, against Malamar decks. Yeah? True. Um, I can see how the sniping from Nine Tails can be better. I can definitely see that's the advantage of the list. Okay, so Zor gets taken down, and then I mean I have to go for a game here, right? Have to go for a game. Okay, so I top deck the Ultra Ball. So Ultra Ball gets me Lele, which gets me um, Mallow, which gets me the puzzle piece. Yep, there's a Mallow, so that's game. I mean, Mallow gets me DC Choice Band, even. I do have three Choice Bands. We do have three choice bands, so this will be game. A very, very solid win against Vika Volt Tapu Bulu. Now let's actually do the do the play. Um, DC choice band. We have the Grenade GX already. The opponent's best chance was to um, end me, to try and deny me from the outs. But even then, like I just had way too much on the field I feel and there's the DC there's the choice band and I could have even attacked with the Grenier GX but this will do this will do so GG to my opponent I guess I would have needed to use Akusma as well so never mind um, how do you feel about Frogadiers with the Illusion Spray 
seems okay, but I feel like you really want to get to Greninja GX. Um, so I would try to do it that way. And hello, Kimotabi. Um, Blizzard Ditch definitely works nicely with DC and the extra damage from Greninja gets you the knockouts. Like, I, I do agree. It's just, I understand why the cards work together. I just, th I just think that you won't make them work together enough for it to be a good deck. That's, that's the thing. Like, the extra damage helps also Glacian. It also helps Elizabeth. But the lack of draw support is the biggest issue. Um, I did test Glacian in the beginning of the stream today, guys. And um, it was terrible. It was honestly terrible. Um, so yeah, I think I generally think I will stand by my statement. The only way to make Greninja GX work is with Zork. Um, I guarantee that at regional level events, like I'm sure uh, Glacian decks will win win, win, bleh, will win League Cups and stuff like that. And Ninetales can also win a League Cup or a League Challenge. However, competitively, oh, I need to show the list. Right, right. <laughs> um, competitively, I don't think um, any build will get you um, farther at a regionals other than the Zorak build. So this is the current build. I feel like this card is definitely cuttable. Um, it makes the deck look a lot cleaner, although the Greninja, the Greninja GX is just popped up here. Um, what I, what would I put in instead of that or in that space? Um, maybe a second float, maybe a fourth field lower if Garb starts seeing play. Um, I don't think I would go under two water energies because sometimes having the option to attack with Greninja can be really good. Um, maybe a second Mallow. Um, maybe a stand-in Zorg as well, that could be good as a surprise attacker. Um, any of those cards. Um, so yeah. Um, regionals are 80% across from Malamar and Boss Rock. No, I don't think that's it. We haven't had a single tournament with a new set, so it's all, it's all, um, it's all completely untested. How about a fifth? <laughs> Fifth Bridget would be nice. Um, third Water, ah, uh, probably not necessary. It could be good, but probably not necessary. Um, so yeah, um, that's the list. I had that Greninja. Maybe I mean I haven't played too many games with Greninja GX Zorg, so maybe the Shadow Stitching Greninja comes up more the more you play with it. Um, however, the list does feel pretty solid. Um, it just it still feels worse than Puzzle Lycan Rock or Malamar, even though we've defeated the two Malamars that we've faced so far with this deck. Um, yeah, so that's my input on the deck, guys. I This will be the end of the video and the stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps out the channel. Um, one Olivia, maybe, maybe. Um, Sir Bandage, I did test Zoro Garb, um, I believe yesterday, yesterday on stream. I did the Zoro Garb, so um, the video for Zoro Garb, Zoro Garb I think is going up tomorrow on YouTube or you can check it out on the videos on Twitch. Um, I think I played that either yesterday or Monday, one of those two days, uh, probably Monday actually. Um, but yeah guys, this will be all for me today, thank you so much for hanging out, thank you so much for the support as always, 10 people away, 10 subscribers on Twitch from a new, probably Nido Queen emote, I feel like Nido Queen deserves to have an emote um, on the channel so that's our goal for um, next week perhaps or maybe this week I don't know you guys really came through uh, for the other two emojis so I know we'll slowly but surely get there so thank you guys so much have a great day and I will probably be seeing you guys tomorrow yet again for more forbidden light decks and action thank you guys so much and I will see you soon bye bye